PHRC Beth Lawson. She is our PHRC attorney up here in Pennsylvania. She used to work for the Department of Corrections as their main attorney. Mm-hmm. She lies. She lied under oath to people. And I want you all to know this. Josh Shapiro knows this stuff. And he wants to become your governor. Yes, he does. He wants to be your our governor. I ain't voting you in. That's why I didn't vote you the first time. That's why I didn't know who you was when you sat down and had that conversation with me Would take my evidence of gangs and drug dealers and stuff. I mailed it to you, and then you still said you didn't get it, and then Senator Allman gave it to you, and then, I don't know, whatever happened. I guess you had it like, oh, let's just shut up about this, right? Oh, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Guys are pure, corrupt idiot. I'm challenging Josh, and I'm challenging you, Josh Shapiro. I'm challenging you. Let's go head to head about how many gangs work inside the Pennsylvania Department of Corrections. Dare me that I'm wrong. Let's go. Let's go. I'll challenge any news media with the stuff that I have. I'll challenge you all that Josh Shapiro knows, that Department of Corrections know from the State Department of Corrections, okay, knows that there are gangs working inside the prison and or staff that are affiliated with them. People that are on social media with inmates, active inmates. One of them was Shayla Town Pierce's baby daddy that Lieutenant Rivera was on social media with. And she is the reason why, she is the reason why the U.S. Marshal Hill is not here today. I challenge you, Josh Shapiro. I challenge you. Because it's also been said, and I don't know about this part, she does look like the girl that used to work for Department of Corrections, Shayla Town Pierce. And she does have a sister that was really fat. And I don't mean to say that like in a rude thing, but she was. She was really heavy. And they look like the same two girls. They're the same two girls that got fired because the one girl was involved with inmates at another prison and had a baby by them. Hmm. Just so happens Shayla Town Pierce has a baby daddy over in another prison. And Rivera was friends with him while he's on social media. How do you get on social media and be talking back and forth? Or cut? <laughs> serious i challenge you josh shapiro i challenge you i challenge you to go to public and you tell them that you know for a fact that there are no gangs working inside the prison there are no officers and correctional staff that are not involved with gangs or affiliated with them and or not got inmates up on their social media account nor they had they ever since i've been going to you josh shapiro and i also challenge you to go after the people who lied under oath in court in testimony that they gave that you knew was a lie and why you all held on to evidence for over five years after the time for prosecution to be over you couldn't prosecute them sorry statute of limitation it came out in five years mm -hmm. that's when they gave me harold curtis's uh, instant report that i got a criminal complaint that i gave david freed over in his office and he gave it to kathleen kane so quit cry baby there don't david freed because you kept saying Kathleen Kane don't keep you in a loop. Well, you kept her in a loop about everything, right? That you how you wanted to protect your friends, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I challenge you, y'all, Shapiro. I challenge you. Please tell me that there are no, and I do mean no staff members, nor have they been since I have known you, since I have been since you've been in charge over my lawsuit that there's no staff members working inside that prison or affiliated with gangs. I challenge you. I challenge you to say that there's no one inside Department of Corrections for the state of Pennsylvania that are not on social media with inmates. I challenge you. I challenge you to say there's no inmates with cell phones and staff members inside Department of Corrections for the state of Pennsylvania. I challenge you, Josh Shapiro. I challenge you. You gonna take me on? I challenge you. <laughs> So, let's talk about Attorney Beth Lawson. Mm -hmm. She <laughs> withheld evidence, and she allowed people to perjure themselves at an unemployment hearing. Should she be held accountable? Josh Shapiro, I challenge you. Hold her accountable. Hold yourself accountable. Hold the people in your office accountable for holding on to evidence for over five years and not releasing it so that the statute of limitation ran out. Is that not obstruction? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, I take you on, Josh Shapiro. I take you on. I take you on, too, that you hide when women get assaulted inside the prisons. Even men. 
but women, because I am a woman, and I identify as a woman, what God made me, okay? I'm a woman. I got assaulted. You all covered it up. You continued to help cover it up, and continued to help cover that up. Assaulted people, and he wants to be your governor. 